And a very good day to you and welcome to the program. It's just so good to be with you again. You know, we just love visiting you in your home. Maybe you're in a hospital watching this program. Maybe you're in prison. I don't know what it is. Maybe you're in some motel, but I want to encourage you to listen to the Word of God. The scripture that I have for you today is found in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, from verse 14 to 16, three verses to 16. Three verses. Jesus says, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. You and I need to be lights in a world that is full of darkness. This is our finest hour. This is our time. It's your time, sir. It's your time, madam. This is our finest hour. Not even so much what we do as rather who we are. People are watching us all the time. This is not a time to hide our light. You know, my late dad, I had the privilege of leading him to Jesus. But before he gave his heart to the Lord, he always used to say to me, there's two things, Angus, I don't want you to speak to me about. What are those, Dad? Politics and religion. They are private. My dad got it wrong on the second term. Our religion is a relationship with the Son of God. It is impossible to keep that light under a basket. Jesus is giving us a directive. We need to tell the world. Okay, it's time for us to bring out the God colors into a dark world. It's time for you and me to shine. It's time for us to light up the world and do not hide it and put it away. It's time for the world to have hope and glory in God. And if they don't see it through you and me, how are they going to see it? Oh, well, they'll read it in the Bible, Angus. No, they won't because they don't even know what the Bible is. See, you are on a walking epistle. You're a walking letter of the Bible. When you lose your temper, when you're angry with people, when you're bad-mannered, you are hiding your light under a basket. But when you stand back and say to the old lady, please go ahead, madam. When somebody wants to squeeze in and you just pull the car back and let him go in and give him a wave. That is shining the light. Go public. Go public. Tell the first three people that you meet tomorrow <laughs> what Jesus Christ means to you. You know, that happened to me. The amazing thing is, on this very farm that I'm standing now, but I'm talking 42 years ago, I gave my life to Christ in that little church in the main street in Greytown. At about 10 o'clock in the morning, myself, Jill, and our children, I went home, I sat in the garden having a cup of tea, thinking about what I'd done. Because on the Saturday night, I was in the pub with the boys, having a party. And a motor car drove up to the house, and a man and wife got out the car, and they came and they said, we just want to introduce ourselves. We saw this morning that you stood up in front of everybody and gave your lives to Jesus. And straight away... <laughs> You know, the defensive part of me. So what if I did? And the man looked at me in the eye and he said, did you mean it? And I said, yes, I did. He said, tomorrow morning, tell the first three people that you meet what you did today. And you know something? I did it. On this farm was the first man I spoke to. I was so nervous. But when I told him the good news, it just changed his life. Go out today and shine for Jesus. Goodbye.